ESVR2 has now officially become a PC VR headset, working with Steam VR, finally allowing you to play games like Half-Life Alex and any Steam VR game and enjoy them with gorgeous OLED display, 2000 by 2040 resolution and an impressive field of view of 110 degrees. I've tested it and it worked pretty flawlessly for me, although there are a couple of things you need to know to set it up. And I'm going to show you step by step how to do it on your PC and also give you my thoughts on how PSVR2 works as a PC VR headset. Using your PSVR 2 as a PC VR headset is allowed by the PC adapter that you need to buy from Sony, and also a free PlayStation VR 2 app that you can install on Steam. When you run this app for the first time, it's going to walk you through the connection process, but I'm also going to be including some demonstration videos here to show you exactly what you need to do. So the first step will be to prepare your controllers, basically to connect them to your computer, and for that you will need Bluetooth connection. If your computer doesn't have it, you will need to buy a Bluetooth adapter so that your computer can recognize your controllers. Make sure that your controllers are charged before doing this step, and to pair your controllers you will need to press and hold the menu button and the PlayStation button on both of the controllers, and then when you click on add device in your computer, you'll be able to find them and connect them one by one. You'll see the confirmation window saying the controllers are connected and after that it's going to start a brief installation of the updates to your controllers. It's usually super fast and after you're done with this step, it's time to actually connect your headset using the PC VR2 adapter. This adapter is basically a little box with a USB cable attached to it. It also has a display port and you will need a display port cable to connect it to your PC. Plug in the USB cable into the USB port in your computer. It needs to be a 3.0 USB port. It should be colored red in your PC. Then connect the display cable and locate the display port inside your computer and connect that one as well. You also need to connect this adapter to power. The AC adapter is of course included in the box. Connect your AC adapter to this PlayStation box and then of course connect it with the power cable and plug it into your wall so that your headset can get some power. And the last step will be connecting your adapter to your actual PSVR2 headset. Use the USB-C cable attached to your VR headset and connect it to the USB-C port inside your PSVR2 adapter box. After you've done that, you can power on your PSVR2. It probably will quickly install the update to the firmware, provide you with some safety information and ask you to provide them some data. You don't need to give them all the data, I picked the limited. I didn't really want to send them everything I do with my PSVR2 app. You remember that PSVR2 doesn't have speakers, so you'll need to attach your stereo headphones that came in the box with your PSVR2, or you can use any other headphones that you like better. And next, probably the most important thing you'll need to do is set up OpenXR Runtime. If you've played PCVR before, especially with the Quest headset, your OpenXR is probably selected as Oculus and not SteamVR, and we need to change that. To do that, open SteamVR, download it on Steam if you don't have it yet, click on the hamburger menu and select Settings. Right here, click Open XR from the menu, and here you, you will see if your current Open XR runtime is selected something different like Oculus, then you need to change it and set Steam VR as Open XR. That's it. This should be enough to successfully connect your PSVR 2 to your PC. After this step, you can turn on your controllers by pressing the PS buttons and then put on your PSVR 2. The headset will first be giving you directions on how to set up your headset on your head comfortably and conveniently so that you're uh, pretty comfortable playing in VR. Next, you will adjust the lens distance or the interpupillary distance, play around with what feels comfortable and whatever looks the clearest. Finally, you'll be setting up your play area. PSVR 2 is an inside-out tracking headset, which means you don't need any base stations or cameras. It has cameras inside the headset, meaning all you need to do is stand up, scan your room, and then set up the floor height and the boundary of your playroom, very similarly to how you do it on Quest headsets. This pretty much concludes the PSVR 2 setup. You will see the status of your uh, VR headset, the charger level of your controllers, and you're ready to go. Inside your headset, the Steam VR Home will already load and you'll be able to choose any game available there to play. Every time I try a new PC VR headset, the very first game I like to go for is Aircar. And when playing certain games, especially a game like Aircar, you may see a message that says that you haven't registered any controllers. If I play the game, here's what happens. So if if you notice, I can't control it uh, because I need to register these controllers. Essentially, this is because these are completely new controllers for your Steam VR, and you need to tell it how these controllers should work. So 
what their mapping should be. I know this now because I reviewed Pimax headsets and they had the exact same issue. When I reviewed Pimax Crystal, another VR headset with inside-out tracking, it came with its own controllers that also needed to be set up. So this is not unusual for PC VR headsets with their own controllers. Click on the PlayStation menu button, select Air Car or any other game that you're running, and then click on Controller Binding. Here you can choose an already existing binding preset by clicking on Choose Another. I selected the binding preset for index controllers and it actually worked perfectly for me with the PSVR 2 controllers. Click on Activate to select it. You can always view and edit your binding right here, but like I said, in my case, I really didn't have to change anything. This one worked really well for PSVR 2 controllers. But it looks so cool, so bright. These colors are amazing. And the resolution is really awesome. Truly, I, I think that it makes a really, really good PC VR headsets, considering that it is quite light and easy to set up and it's comfortable too. Oh, this is bright. Oh, this is bright. Here you've also got the options for controller binding, so you can change that if you need. Again, so far it works just fine for me with the Valve Index controller binding. Yeah, this looks awesome, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Feels like a really excellent PC VR headset. The FOV is amazing, just like you know it from playing PSVR 2 games. But the colors, oh gosh, the clarity of these colors, it's so bright. But of course there's still Mura, like you can't get away from it. It's, it's gonna be there and you will notice it when you look at uh, more like solid bright colors. It's the most noticeable there. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> oh, dude. Oof. This is my favorite moment and it's such a cool beginning of the game. I was skeptical about how this uh, VR headset would perform and before I installed it I've heard so much criticism about how it was difficult and much more difficult than it should be but honestly the fact that they made it available and it works so good and it's really not more difficult than working with any other pc vr headset pretty outstanding really don't let the controller binding scare you this is actually pretty normal and standard for working with pc vr headsets very very impressive for the price that you can get playstation vr 2 right now you don't need playstation 5 anymore to play it you literally can take advantage of your pc if you already have it ps vr 2 is entering the game of uh, PC VR headsets. However, before you rush online and place your order, you need to keep in mind that by using PSVR 2 as a PC VR headset, you effectively will be losing many PSVR 2 exclusive features, such as headset vibrations, adaptive triggers, HDR quality, and eye tracking, and by definition, dynamic foveated rendering. Those are some of the features that made PSVR 2 really stand out compared to its PC VR competitors. And if you're not planning to use this headset with the PlayStation, 5, then essentially all of these awesome features will be wasted. Some people also report a strange warping distortion when rotating the head side to side, which could be a bug with the current PSVR 2 Steam VR driver. Either way, there are reasons for concern when you choose to buy a non-native PC VR headset and essentially modding it, albeit officially, to make it work with Steam VR. I will be comparing it with other headsets such as Quest 3 and Pimax Crystal Lite and linking these videos right here so that you don't miss them and watch them next. I'll see you there!